What's up guys, it is Greg here, and I'd fair to make a little quick how-to video for my first video back since I got my computer fixed about how to get Minecraft for free. Now, um, uh, you are going to need the newest version of Java, well, any version of Java past, well, preferably the most current version of Java, and it doesn't matter if, according to the Minecraft.net, like if you've played the old, like, if you've already tried playing the demo of Minecraft off the website, it doesn't matter if you're, if you quote-unquote don't have a graphics card that is capable of handling the graphics, all you have to do is just turn it down, and it's pretty, like, lag-free. Now, if you guys see, it's lagging in the background behind where it says Minecraft, but that's just because I'm recording right now. But, um, to do that, you first need to make a Minecraft account. Now, after you do that, you just gotta do all that, verify it and everything. And then you guys may want to pause the page, pause this video while you're doing that. And then, um, then you go to mineshafter.appspot.com. This is the home page here. Then you click on downloads. You're gonna want to sign in because somewhere on here you can actually add skins, and it's easier than opening up the .minecraft file with your with WinRAR or 7-Zip or whatever you're using. Then you just download the Mineshafter proxy for players. Then let me close this out then it'll show you yeah it'll show you this file right here hold on here this file and then you just launch it and hold on let me reorganize that okay and when you launch that you'll get Minecraft modified in Minecraft. Every time you want to play Minecraft, you want to do Minecraft proxy, Minecraft proxy, sorry, and then you it'll take you to the login page like it normally would, and then you just log in. And unfortunately, with this version, you can still only connect to servers that are cracked servers, but it's worth it, I think, because you get everything that you could possibly dream of and it doesn't look like it's a ghetto version when you launch minecraft like you know I gotta check the force updater every time <coughs> you just launch it once and it takes it right from the minecraft launcher so thanks guys let me know what you think in the comments section